Since I was in a dark place, you know, I felt like the walls were, were closing in on me. Hardcore saved my life, bro. Hardcore saved my life. Hardcore saved my life. Hardcore music saved my life. I actually remember the exact moment Hardcore saved my life. Uh, I was up at 3 a.m. commenting on some thick chick's Instagram photos. Hardcore saved my life. You know, now I can let touring bands from all over the world stay in my basement. I mean, it floods, but hey, look, man, the Shit Palace is one of the last DIY venues in this city. I've been attacking people outside of venues for 35 years. Thanks to Hardcore, now I do it to fight racism. Hardcore gives me the strength to keep moving forward. Now I just put one foot in front of the other. Just, you know, head walking on girls. Because of Hardcore, I'm actually an innovator. And safe spaces, without me, that totally wouldn't even be an issue. I've killed three racists because of Hardcore, which makes my murder rate 75% accurate. Look, off the record, the shopkeeper, he had it coming. I've straight up narked on my friends for smoking a joint. I've turned three of my girlfriends straight edge. One of them's a lesbian. How's that for growing the scene, you know? That's diversity. Since Hardcore saved my life, I got my bassist writing career off the ground by inspiring him to write a long, detailed public apology on my behalf. Before Hardcore, I was drinking, smoking, and getting in brutal 30-on-one life-altering fights. Now, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Book six bands and borrow the touring band's gear. They have to have their stuff. Every weekend we go through this. For me, Hardcore is about giving back. I mean, whenever a girl's in a fight with her boyfriend, needs someone to talk to or needs some alcohol, Coke. Hardcore taught me life's about baby steps, you know? Really quick ones. Pop, pop, pop. Maybe you get three or four heads deep before you eat shit. The only social justice warriors this scene needs is Crow and Bat. There's plenty of women on the bill. See, wouldn't you miss that if I was gone? I also think there should be more chicks on Fest. You know, the real thick ones, you know, the kinky tumbler types. Yeah, like, you used to get stabbed in this neighborhood, you know? I feel like, like people forget that now. I did some of the stabbing. Look, if you're a Nazi, we're coming for you. We're not gonna check if you're a Nazi first. I've actually been able to use my vague post about almost killing myself to get some strange on tour. Thank you, Hardcore. Thanks, Hardcore. Thank you for saving my life, Hardcore. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Is there any chance I could buy, like, piss off one of you guys? Not like a fetish thing. It's like, I'm trying to get a job at UPS. <laughs>